I'm at the point now where I'm turning down as many jobs as I'm accepting because I'm booked. Before Friends in Film, um, I was actively trying to get into the industry. So I had gone to film school for about three, four years. I did a mixture of film and graphics courses. You feel like you're working on a film set and everyone's so, you know, enthralled in the project. But nobody could actually figure out, like, how to actually get in the industry. We had so many friends doing their own little independent projects for free or, hey, I have a DSLR camera. Let's go do this over here. So it was just hopping onto all these projects thinking that, you know, we're, we're doing it, we're making it. But it's like, why am I not doing anything IMDb worthy? Why am I not meeting some actual producers that come from LA? Or I started hitting kind of this almost depressing kind of mode for about two or three years after film school. I'm still twiddling my thumbs, sitting on a degree, wondering how the heck do I get in? Like, how do I meet these people? How do I give them my resume? How do I give them my business card? Um, so before Friends in Film, I was just just ready to give up. I was ready to throw up my hands and for the first time admit defeat that this dream just wasn't going to happen. It was too hard. It was too impossible. Who am I to try and reach for the stars with these celebrities that had all these famous parents and blah, blah, blah. All these dots doubts, all these thoughts just kind of squeeze into your head. And the longer it takes to see something happening, the longer you start to believe all these things. It's been three and a half years since I've been in the program. It's been, well, a little under that. And it's been about three years since um, I've been pretty much full time in the industry. Um, I haven't had a dry spell. Even right now, with this whole virus scenario, um, I was working a job as a producer's assistant and it was my first week there and everyone's talking about production shutting down. And my first thought was, I've only been here a week. Like I haven't been here long enough to show you what I can do. Please don't let me go. Um, so they put production on hold. So I had about a week off just kind of, you know, okay, you know what? A, a break is actually much needed right now. So I took a little break, took my time. And before I could even get back on, all right, let's start hustling for work. Let's start figuring this life out. I got a call. And uh, I had worked a feature film last year as a director's assistant. And I had been telling them the whole time, I know you guys are in Austin. I'm in Fort Worth. But if you ever need help on post, uh, post-production, I will, you know, I'll travel to Austin. I got five different houses I can stay at. I love the team. I'm just, you know, guys, don't forget me. Um, they reached out to me and they needed help with post-production as far as like organizing and doing intensive research, which I love doing. So they're, they hired me to work remotely. It's been phenomenal for the last two and a half weeks. I've just been looking up uh, 1930s, Great Depression, football, like all these. It's just so much fun. Needless to say, after Friends in Film, I have been in demand. Even in the moments when I thought I would be you know, the, the dead days. Everyone talks about December and January, how it's slow. And I haven't experienced that yet. I'm either in reality show or commercial or scripted. I'm always in something because people are always reaching out. And it's just so much fun to be in all these different aspects of the industry now that I didn't think I could be in before. I, I started with the, with the volunteer stuff. Um, at first, I was like, okay, well, I don't, I don't clearly, you know, watching the videos and learning from the production. I don't know as much as I thought I did from school to what set is actually like. Um, so I decided to start on some like independent stuff. Um, there was a couple of film contests and DFW has a really great uh, independent film community. So I was like, all right, well, looking at their photos, they're actually like, they're doing some legit productions. So let me just hop on with them, help them out as a TA and gain some experience on their sets first. And um, reached out, sent them an email. There was a, a film competition that happens twice a year and some Film professionals that even work in the industry, a lot of them volunteer their time for this film contest that happens. And so I hopped on, picked up the PA, and oh, I remember this. I had my PA tool belt, and I was so proud of it. I had uh, two different pockets, and one was like pens and a notebook, the other one was like tools. I had my gloves strapped to it. So I remember I showed up at this movie theater. We were going to film this music video. I show up at the movie theater and I was like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm Crystal. I'm the PA. I reached out to you. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah. If you want to go ahead and help 
so-and-so, he's up by the ladder. Oh, okay, cool. Put my backpack down, reach into it, pull out my tool belt, put it on. And no joke, the DP walks over, he's like, she's got a belt, she's got a belt. Do you have a business card? Like, we have a shoot happening next week. And then I got picked, on for, uh, picked up for a short film that was going to be happening the following weekend. Just because I had a tool belt. That was just the, the <laughs> that was just hilarious how it happened. And I was just like, Janet's right. It worked. <laughs> it's starting to become a lot more clear now um, what I'm leaning towards. I'm not going to lie. The first two years, I was just falling in love with everything. Like every department was just gold. But right now, I've had enough experience with, again, the logistical side that I love seeing the movie almost from birth to finish. I, I, I'm honestly leaning more towards being a producer. I got to work with five different, so many producers on that movie. Uh, I got to work with five producers on a film that I worked on in Fort Worth last year. And I was my desk was next to the director's desk, but I was surrounded by all the producer's desk. So I heard all the conversations. I heard all the negotiations. I heard all the conference calls. And it was just such a breath of fresh air to me to see this entire process unfolding before me. I got to see how they picked the cast members, how they negotiated their rates, um, why certain cast members were changed last minute, um, now I'm working the rap side of things and I'm seeing a lot more of, you know, okay, well, we have to get rights for this music or this footage. Okay, well, now we need to get someone to do the voiceover. Do they need to be sad? What, like, it's just, I love being able to see everything. And for a person that for two years couldn't decide what she wanted to do, this is the best spot to still see everything. Many other programs out there um, tend to focus on, okay, well, this is what you do on a film set. This is what you do here. Um, you need to know about this camera, you need to know about this program teaches you how to find the job, how to get the job, and what other programs don't focus on, this program does, is how to be in demand so that the jobs turn around and look for you. I've been full-time in this industry for almost three years, and ever since, really after the first month, I've just had people reaching out to me. It's very rare when I apply for a position. And if I apply for a position, it's because I've had like three or four people reach out to me, hey, send me your resume so that I can pass it on to the producer. And so it's, again, it's very rare when I have to apply because people are always contacting me. I'm at the point now where I'm turning down as many jobs as I'm accepting because I'm booked. I'm already booked for this week. I'm already booked for next week. I have production managers, hey, I heard you're on that film do me a favor when you're done with that film, let me know that you're back on. Like, I, 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 I don't know how else to explain that. I mean, what other program puts you in demand? What other program has film companies reaching out to you to work for them?